Hello, once again. Uh, we're here to start talking about electrical problems and specifically how to diagnose whether the, your electrical problem is the truck or the trailer. Now, I've brought in some new tools uh, for this. Uh, the first one we're going to do is this light tester. You should start your pre-trip by using this light tester from now on. So if you come to a truck and you turn on the lights and you plug it in, and you'll see this uh, rise right here it goes with this rise here. If I can get it in there. If you look here, you'll see all these lights are green. That means those are those are working. Now, if you turn on your turn signal, you'll see that one's flashing. Turn it the other way, you'll see this one's flashing. And if you hit your brake, you'll see that one turns on. So if any of these are red, you know before you even leave the yard you have an electrical problem. If you show up at a, at a yard and you plug into a trailer and something doesn't light up, you know there's a good chance it's a trailer. It doesn't mean you don't need to be checking this stuff, all right? But um, it's it, ABS light is this one right here and it's the auxiliary and it's green. So if you have an ABS light on and you plug this in here, you know it's this. Now, let's say you plug it in and you have a red. The next step is to check the truck itself, the female end of the truck. And you do that simply just like you do a trailer, lift that up, pull this out. Plug in the other side of the tester. You'll see all three lights are green. You can check the, uh, the turn signal just like we did before. The brakes will have to have somebody else looking at this. So if you plug it in here and you get a red, and you plug it in here and they're all green, you know your problem is in your electrical cord. Now, if something else you're going to see, before we talk about the electrical cord, something else you'll see is people try to put this end into the trailer, like this. Try to put it in the trailer like that, and then we'll plug this in. Oh, they're all green. The trailer must be okay. All this tells you about is the is the power supply. Tractor provides the power. Trailer has no power. So if these are all green, um, and, and it's plugged in like this, it is telling you nothing about the trailer. So don't do that. Let's say that you decide you have an issue with your with your pigtail. Every truck. We'll now have extra pigtails. You pull the, pig, the pigtail out of the truck just like that. Plug it in. Plug this into the uh, into the trailer. You have a functioning pigtail. This is not for long-term use. This is for short-term use. Finish your tour. Get back to the yard. Let us know. We'll have our great mechanics fix the uh, uh, fix the electrical cord that's on here. We do not want to be driving long-term with these, but it will get you through your tour and get trailers moved. Something else that we've added, and many of the trucks have had these for years, but we're putting, going to make sure every truck has them, are these wedges. We've all had those trailers you plug into and you move it this way and lights come on, you move it this way, they don't. You know, you're moving it around, your lights are flickering, but you're not sure. Once you figure out exactly where to move it, you get a good connection. And if you if we do this, Okay, you can then slide this in here, and you might have to get a tool and beat on it a little bit, but once you get in the direction you want to go, you use this to keep in that direction, your lights stay on, and you can go the rest of the trip with, with lights. Now, let's say you decide that it's the truck that's the problem. You've tested here, it's, you got a red, you've tested here, you still got a red. Chances are you got a blown fuse. So that's when we're going to come to the fuse box, and everybody's going to have one of these in their truck. And these are really simple. You attach this to a piece of metal. You, there's a screw right here on the Volvos. You can attach it there. You can also attach it to one of these. I'm going to attach it to this screw here. And if you touch, if you look on these fuses, there's a silver piece on each fuse. If you touch that to the fuse and you get a light in there, the fuse is good. Now these two up here are not going to show 
unless you have your turn signals on. These are your turn signal fuses. So they're not going to light up. But you can touch any of these and it'll light up. The only one you can't in the Volvos is this because it's a breaker fuse. You just got to push that button. If, if you've got, this is for the auxiliary, it's for the ABS system. But the rest of these you can do this with. Now, most of these you don't need to worry about. What do you need to worry about? Brakes, turn signals. One of them is way back here. We'll make sure you know that. All right, here's a list of your fuses. The one thing I ask is do not use this to diagnose anything other than fuses. Any of you who know how to use this tool may be encouraged to do it on other fuses inside the cab, the batteries, things like that. Please do not. We are not mechanics and we don't want to be mechanics. But we do need to be able to replace fuses while out on the road and keep the, keep the product moving.